थर्ड जुलाई टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी वन मॉर्निंग मुरली ओम शांति बैपदादा मधुबन स्वीट चिल्ड्रन यू नव हैव टू गो टू दी न्यू वर्ल्ड दिस डेज ऑफ सॉरो आर कमिंग टू एन एंड देर फोर फॉर गेट ओल्ड थिंग्स ऑफ द पास क्वेश्चन वॉट शुड यू कर्म योगी चिल्ड्रन कॉन्स्टेंटली प्रैक्टिस आंसर वन मोमेंट यू आर एंड यूर बॉडी फॉर इट्स लाइवलीहुड एंड द नेक्स्ट मोमेंट यू बिकेम सोल कॉन्शियस एक्शंस कैन नॉट बी परफॉर्म्ड विदाउट हैविंग अवेयरनेस ऑफ योर बॉडी देर फोर प्रैक्टिस परफॉर्मिंग एक्शंस एंड द अवेयरनेस ऑफ योर बॉडी एंड देन बिकेम सोल कॉन्शियस नो वन एंड द वर्ल्ड अदर दैन यू चिल्ड्रन कैन प्रैक्टिस दस song awaken o oh, brides awaken the new age is about to come om shanti the spiritual father says that the sweetest spirits which means the children heard the song thus is called a song of knowledge the song is very good you souls have now awakened and you also know the secrets of the drama you have also seen the show of the path of devotion whatever happened in the past is in your intellects you know the history of your past 84 births the father has told you the story of your 84 births these are new things for the new world you listen to new things from the father he gives you children patience he says children you now have to go to the new world therefore forget the old things all of those vedas and scriptures that are the paraphernalia of the path of devotion are to be destroyed there are no signs of the path of devotion there there you receive the fruit of devotion the father comes and gives devotees the fruit you children now know how the father comes and gives you the fruit of devotion those who have performed more devotion would definitely receive more fruit they would also make more effort in knowledge you know which souls have done more devotion they are the ones who will definitely go faster in knowledge for only then can they attain a status as high as that of lakshmi and narayan you are now making effort in knowledge and yoga remain soul conscious but you also have to remain aware of being in a body while performing actions remember the father we cannot perform actions without bodies it is right that you have to remember baba but you also have to consider yourselves to be souls nothing will be achieved by forgetting your body cons because you still have to perform actions there is a lot of pleasure in remembering the father you have to remember the father while sitting standing and moving around but nevertheless your stomach does not need food remain soul conscious apart from your children no one is soul conscious at present although they may consider themselves to be souls they don't have god's introduction although they may understand that souls are imperishable and that bodies are perishable their sins will not be absolved by understanding that it is said charitable soul impure soul i am a soul and this is my body that is a common thing the main thing that the father explains is remember me you have to be aware of your body for the livelihood of your body the body has to be fed you cannot do anything without a body you have been doing something for the livelihood of your body in every birth while performing actions you have to remember your beloved no one fully knows that beloved no one else can explain that we are to receive the inheritance from that beloved from that father and that our sins will be absolved by having remembrance of him you children are listening to new things you know that you have found the path to go to home 
you will return home and then go to your kingdom. Baba is building a new home. So, you definitely have the desire to go and stay in it. We have now found the path which no one else knows. No matter how many sacrificial fires they create or tapasya etc. they do or how much they beat their heads, they cannot attain salvation. They cannot go from this world to that world. This too has to be understood. In the scriptures, they have written that the duration of a cycle is hundreds of thousands of years and this is why the intellects of people do not work. You can understand very clearly that it is was only yesterday when Bharat was heaven that we belong to the original eternal deity religion. The deity religion has one that gave a lot of happiness. No one else can attain the happiness of Bharat. Those of other religions cannot go to heaven. No matter how much they try, no one else can have the happiness that you have. Even if they spend money, they cannot find the happiness that exists in heaven. Some may have health but won't have wealth. Some may have wealth but won't have health. This is the world of sorrow and so the father says awaken O souls each of you has now each received a third eye of knowledge. You have been awakened so much. You know the history and geography of the whole world. The father is the knower of all secrets within means Jani Jananhar. This doesn't mean that he knows what is in heart of everyone. Who is this one? How much does he explain? To what extent does this one remain pure? To what extent does he remember Baba? Why should I sit and think such things about everyone? I just show you souls the path. You have to remember your Supreme Father, the Supreme Soul. Keep this false cycle in your intellects. You definitely do have to become soul conscious. It was because you became body conscious that you became degraded in that way. You now have to remember the Father by leaving at home became like a lotus flower. You are also spinners of the discus of self-realization. The deities don't have ornaments like the conch shell etc. You Brahmins have the conch shell of knowledge. When sick blow a conch shell, they make a very loud noise. When you give this knowledge to a big gathering, you use loudspeakers. You don't need to put up a loudspeaker here. Would a teacher teach using a loudspeaker? Here you simply have to remember Shri Baba so that your sins are absolved. I am the almighty authority. You use loudspeakers so that people at a distance can also hear. They will be useful as you make further progress. You have to tell them that death is just ahead. Everyone now has to return home. The Mahabharat war is in front of you. It is written in the Gita too that the Mahabharat war took place and that destruction took place. Acha, what happened then? Even the Pandavas melted away. The father explains if destruction were to take place first, then even the land of Bharat would become empty. Bharat is an imperishable land. It never becomes empty. You now know that total annihilation never take place. Baba is imperishable and his birthplace is also imperishable. You children should remain happy. Baba is the bestower of salvation for all, the one who gives peace and happiness. Anyone who comes here says that he or she wants peace. Why do souls remember peace so much? The land of peace is the home of souls who would not remember his home. If someone dies abroad, they want to take that person's body back to his place of birth. 
If everyone were to know that Bharat is the birthplace of Shri Baba, who is the bestower of salvation for all, the one who liberates you from sorrow, they would give it a lot of respect. They would come and offer flowers to Shif alone. Now, they offer flowers to so many. They have completely lost all names and trace of the one who gives happiness and peace to everyone. Only those who know the Father very well make effort to claim the inheritance. My name is the remover of sorrow and the bestower of happiness. What would he do after liberating you from sorrow? You know that you remain in peace in the land of peace and that there is happiness in the land of happiness. The land of peace is separate from the land of happiness. This is the land of sorrow. At this time, everyone has nothing but sorrow. You now know that you are going into such happiness there that there will not be any type of sorrow for 21 births. The very name is the land of happiness. It is such a sweet name. The father says, I don't give you any difficulty. Simply remember the father and the inheritance and consider yourselves to be souls. Baba is teaching you thus knowledge. In the golden age, you have the knowledge that you are souls and how you have to shed your bodies and take another birth. That is called being soul conscious. Thus a spiritual knowledge and no one else can keep it. The spiritual father comes and gives knowledge to spirits. He gives it every 5000 years. People are in total darkness. You have now received light and have awakened from the sleep of ignorance. The one father is the bridegroom of all the brides. The father says, I am your father, your bridegroom and also the guru of all gurus. I am the supreme teacher. Only the one Sadguru is the bestower of salvation for all gurus. He says, children, I grant everyone salvation. After liberation, there is salvation. The father has explained that the soul of each one has to return home. It is the soul that became Sato Pradhan, Sato, Rajo and Tamo. Some people have a very small part. They just come and go. They just take birth and die like mosquitoes. Such souls don't claim the inheritance from the father. The inheritance of purity, peace and happiness is received from the father. The father explains to you souls. The father is incorporeal. He comes and explains through this one's mouth. They build temples to Shibaba very high up. They go so high up on pilgrimages and gatherings. Is there any nectar of knowledge for them to drink up there? They spend so much money. Even the government has to arrange so many difficulties for them. There is difficulty in that. How could you take small children on a pilgrimage there? They leave the children to be looked after by someone. They don't take them along. They go on pilgrimages for two to three months. When you come here, you have to sit and listen and study. Little children will not listen to this. You have come here to study knowledge and yoga. The father sits here and gives you knowledge. Therefore, there shouldn't be any noise, etc. Otherwise, your attention would be drawn to them. Here, you have to sit down quickly and listen with attention. Yoga is very easy. Continue to do whatever work you have to. But your intellect should be connected there in yoga. You earn a huge income by remembering Baba. You know that you will become ever healthy. You have to talk to yourself, stay in remembrance of Baba while cooking food for yourself. While continuing to do all the work with your hands, remember your father. You will benefit and by your staying in remembrance, whatever you cook will turn out well. You are receiving the sovereignty of the world. You come here to become like Lakshmi or Nare. You all say that you will become part of the Sun dynasty. 
you know that at this time your mama and baba are saraswati and brahma in their next birth they will become lakshmi and narayan you can't tell what anyone will be in their next birth no one knows who nehru became in his next birth if someone has made very good donations he would receive a birth in a good family you now understand everything the names of the two are adi dev brahma and adi devi saraswati they will then become the masters of heaven acha the children are with them they too say that they will become the masters of heaven thus a certain you also see them in the subtle region there are many gatherings and temples to the goddesses there is just one jagdamba the features of her images should be the same everywhere look at mama the idols have the same features as your children and so they have been named kumari adar kumari you know that you are the ones who became that we all are brahma kumars and kumaris even kapal say that they are brahma kumars and kumaris that they are the children of the one father that is your memorial you give this knowledge and also explain it this is the delvada temple but only you can explain this you know that you are carrying out establishment you are making bharat into heaven through raj yoga by following shrimat acha to the sweetest beloved long lost and now found children love remembrance and good morning from the mother the father bab dada the spiritual father says namaste to the spiritual children the spiritual children says namaste and good morning to the spiritual father essence for the dharna first point pay full attention to knowledge and yoga when listening to knowledge sit very quickly and concentrate you also have to become karma yogis second point show everyone the path home that the father had shown you along with being spinners of the discus of self realization also blow the conch shell of knowledge blessing may you make your stage constant and stable with the awareness of the lesson of belonging to the one father and none other and became a great soul explanation if you always remember the lesson of belonging to the one father and none other your stage will become constant and stable because you have received all the knowledge there are many points but to have all the points and to be stable in the point form is a wonder at a time when someone is pulling you down sometimes situations will pull you down sometimes people will pull you down sometimes some things will pull you down and sometimes the atmosphere will pull you down this will happen anyway but only when all of this expansion finishes in a second and you have a constant and stable stage will you then be said to be a soul who has received the blessing of being elevated slogan imbibe the power of knowledge and when obstacles attack you they will be defeated om shanti 